Hello and welcome to this uh, new replay that was uh, sent to me. So, let me remove these panels. Here we go. Okay. Let me on this panel, I got it here. Great. So, this is an 8v8 game, which means the teams were uh, planned in advance. Let's skip the intro here. Blah, blah, blah. Up faster. Okay, I was paused. That's why something was moving. Okay. So this is an 8v8 that was sent to me. So first the teams are made. So let's look at the teams here. So we have the first team is Dragos are playing as Lord Rock. Kyoi playing as Dalaran and Nova Arc playing as Quilplas. They are allied with Royce playing as the Felhorde and Alan Desmarais playing as Illidan. Then they are allied to the Elves. So they are allied to the Vampirica playing as a Trinai. Sunken Fish playing as the Druids, and finally Green Rust playing as Sentinel. That is Team 1. Team 2 now is going to be Danatos playing as Scourge. Here. Diadon playing as the Legion. They are going to be allied with Baron playing as Frostwolf over here. Samuro King playing as Warsong over here. Ada playing as the Trolls. And finally, they are allied to Krishna, playing as Stormwind, Mirin, playing as the Dwarves, and Technopig, playing as Kultras. Alright, let's go. So in this game, we are going to want to take um, a look at a few things. First of all, these trading posts. So in the new update, the trading posts are now uh, very, very important. They give a lot of resources, so there's four of them these four corners of the map so we'll take a look at them who controls them most of the time uh, another thing we're going to be to want to take a look at is uh, this north alliance duel here so we have diadon and end cup on one side drug closer boy and uh, who was playing cold class again nova arc nova arc playing as cold class so this is all going to be very critical We'll keep fa fast forwarding the early game. So we got some early people here. Baron pushing very quickly towards his uh, Thunder Bluff capital right over here that he can unlock. He needs to kill this centaur camp before. The Legion here, they're clearing pretty quickly Argus. Very fast clear by Diadon, but unsurprising really. Lordaeron over here clearing uh, the Alterac Mountains with Arthas. Interesting. He is using some militia. Very interesting. Interesting. These are, of course, our summons in this map. The castle can summon militia. Okay. Here the trolls will be clearing up Ulduar. And then eventually the lost city of Uldum. Sorry, Uldum. <laughs> Sentinels are moving up. It's good to see Sentinels playing. Last game they were AFK, of course. The last game I cast it. The Druids are pushing. Very good. Excellent. Not much is going to be happening in the early game. We have Dalaran here pushing. Uh, interesting, they're splitting their forces and they're going full Hydromancers. Interesting. I'm not sure if that's the meta or that's just a Quoi's preference, but he is playing full Hydromancers. Okay, he's doing all this. I wonder if he's going to go Gilneas. Not... He's slowly attacking the gate here.
Okay. Everyone's clearing their things pretty fast. Illidan is in Outland ready to attack. The dwarves are clearing their mountains here. Good, good. I see the dreadnoughts coming in. So let's have a look at the trading post. So these are still not big. So no trading post has been captured yet. They do offer a hundred gold in income. So that is quite a lot. Oh! Ultras has landed and the dark portal is open okay so here is the first uh, battle the the Illidan is going to be pushing towards Stranglethorn so let's see what happens here they're going to be fighting the Ultras that is going to be rightfully running away and these Stormwind forces got uh, wiped pretty quick oh you don't want to be losing a uh, a musketeer this early. These are the elite unit of the Kultiras, so we'll see him running away here. It's quite a sizable forces here from the Illidari. Good. Over here, Stormwind is well established in the uh, the marsh the Swamp of Sorrow. Okay, I will slow it down because there's a major battle going on here. The, the blood pack was called, so we have Manorov coming in. Manorov, a level 20 hero, but he's an event. He's not gonna last forever. He's just there to give a big push to the fort. So here, we, here you go. The, the blood pack was called. So there's a... Gromash has chaos damage, if I can find him in this mess. There we go. Gromash with his chaos damage very decisive engagement from the horde i wonder if it's gonna be enough the drainer are retreating and they're a powerful front line so the mountain giants are left to die i guess yep so most of the night elf forces are going to be retreating they did save most of their army um i wonder if it's gonna be enough because the horde has a very strong push and momentum going in now Meanwhile, the Felhort is going to be pushing here uh, Nethergard, but there's a big army here. And the Illidan are quite laid behind, but a good catch here. There's a big army of Stormwind, uh, a good force that's going to be destroyed. Alright, so let's see. The plague is happening. So the forces of Lordaeron are united. Where did the Scourge teleport? And the answer is nowhere. Interesting, interesting strategy. The Scourge did not invade. Instead, they're trying to contest these trading posts with a big navy. Very interesting. Meanwhile, the trade post here is in firm control of Ultiras, and this one here is not controlled by anyone. Interesting. So the Fell Horde is going to be fighting a retreating battle against these forces of uh, the South Alliance. Their ally nowhere in sight. Oh, here they are. Okay, so the Illidan is coming behind. Now this is not looking good. They're separate. This is going to be difficult to fight for the forces of evil. Meanwhile in Kalimdor, the Horde has a massive death ball push going straight for the world tree. We'll see if they manage to arrive. The sentinels are going to try and disrupt the backlines here. So they're going to be pushing in behind and they're going to try and stop the reinforcements from pouring in. Look at this. Look at all these units coming in one by one. The sentinel are going to be able to disrupt most of them I imagine. Here they go. Yep. Yep. Now they're in position and the dry knight are coming in. So, uh, it, it seems like the Zandalar are going to be turning around. Yep. The big dinosaurs are going to be looking behind and trying to prevent these uh, sentinels. So, let's see. Naisha. Naisha. Heal, it, heal up. Good, good, good. So, she survives. Meanwhile, the Warsong is going to be sieging uh, the, the gate. The second gate towards the world tree. Quite a fight here. So really in the North Alliance nothing's happening, we're just clearing up empty bases. Very interesting strategy. Here though, there's a big fight, so the, the Fell Horde is not giving up ground, they're trying to hold this. And meanwhile Illidan is going to be killing Dwarf units and some leftovers. Interesting, so this is gonna be, this is gonna be tricky here, this is gonna be tricky. 
we'll go back to this battle here. So once again, the trolls are fighting alone, Drynay and Sentinel. This is going to be very difficult. They managed to snipe Nesha, but as you can see, the Drynay frontline with the uh, the Sentinels in the back, this is going to be a bit much. And meanwhile, the Warsong is going to be fighting the Druids with Frostwolf. So this matchup is going to be advantage for the Horde. Very, very good. Very good micro here. Keeping Shen Storm alive. And you see the Spirit Walker healing him even more. So, but the, the, the trolls here are crumbling in the behind. And the Azeroth Siege Engine, Azerite Siege Engine, are, are going to be able to be focused on by the Chimera if he's paying attention. But uh, there's so much going on that, yeah. Difficult to, difficult to follow. So over here in the North Alliance, there's like a crossing battle here. The, the Alliance is going to be trying to push into Northrend and uh, the Scourge is going to be coming in by land route. Interesting. Over here, there's still a battle going in. It's quite messy. It seems like there's not much front line left. Uh, both boats are fighting in their back lines mostly. Um, it seems that the Fell Horde is losing uh, the battle. Illidan here is going to have to retreat and the Fell Horde has almost nothing. And here's some backline sea giants coming in. Okay. So, uh, Lord Ram is going to be trying to hold this line here. And those ships, those bombards have a very high range. But they're very uh, weak to other ships. So we'll see what happens here. Meanwhile, still a giant battle here in Kalimdor. The Sentinels and the Dry Knight going behind the... Uh, the druid's going from the top trying to hold the line and the horde is kind of a trap in the, in the middle here but they have such a powerful army uh look at all these buffs stacking up to their units it's crazy we'll see if they're able to uh go through the horde has a very healthy army yeah meanwhile here they're they're just playing like poke I hope these, uh, these units here. So while this seems to be a loss for the Night Elf, they are holding the tree. And the Druids are, are trying to push back territory and gain back their control points. So this is really back and forth. Meanwhile in the South Alliance, uh, the South Alliance are able to push back and regain Nethergard here. And they're going to be trying to regroup. Meanwhile, the Illidan still has a sizable encampment here. Still fighting Kulturas and Strangleborn. Felhorde is going to be regrouping here and trying to hold the uh, Hellfire Citadel, which is uh, this very big fortress here. Alright, so there's a really weird battle going on here, still in the crossing, so you can see these bombards getting focused down by the frigates. Uh, not a very good trade from their bombard, they need to get these ships in front of them. So you have here the air unit just countering the ships, uh, but the, the army is going through. <laughs> the, the ships are not able to stop all of these units from going forward. Okay, so this is still a development uh, situation here in Kalimdor, still the horde has been pushed back. They were all the way up here and now they're all the way back, so th this is not, not in any way, uh, shape or form uh, final. The, the battle is still raging. Meanwhile in the south, here you got the fell horde trying to stream in some ship, but they're gonna need to mass out ships before uh, getting this one. And this control, this trading post is still unpicked. Uh, I recommend someone get on that. Okay, and here we have even more battles going in. The Fell Horde trying to push 3v1. Where is Illidan? Oh, Illidan is once again trying to come in from behind. He is killing all these reinforcements. Maybe he's gonna get a hero. Uh, he noticed, he noticed. Did he notice? Ay ay ay. And a musketeer. Uh, you cannot be losing units like this, uh, Kulteras. So for now, this is still a grind log. But uh, this is the real kicker. Your, the North Alliance is firmly in the 
um, Northrend territories and they even managed to sneak in workers. These vessels should be blocking this path. Uh, this is uh, this is very very interesting. So now they're going to have to defend, and I do wonder where is Legion. Let's try and have a look. Where is the Legion? Also, oh, they did take the island. Okay, okay, they did take the islands, which is good. But uh, they need to be pushing. Ah, so oh, here they are. Okay, okay. So they're pushing in North Alliance here. They're taking control, but but they're gonna lose this uh, this battle in Northrend. Their hero squad is here, but they can can only harass. So basically, it's gonna be very difficult to hold this. And as you can see, as the Scourge army is retreating, they're netting uh, frostworms. So little by little, they're sniping these massive dragons. So you need to be careful if you're retreating as the Scourge. Uh, these dragons need are good, very strong units, but they can get picked off one by one. So here they're gonna try this engagement at Draktar and keep. Uh, but Lordaeron is coming in really hot right behind, and again, see this Frostworm getting picked up one by one. Ay, 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 what a strong push here by the North Alliance. Uh, there's so many things going on. This massive Hydromance was an Arcanist army. There's uh, Paladins in the front, there's a bunch of Siege in the background, the Quelthalas uh, Fast Rider squad uh, trying to focus on important units. This is not a good fight for evil, not at all. I mean, they're pushing here, but they're fighting uh, random stuff. These Felguards are very strong, but uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens from this. Because uh, remem reminder, if you lose a frozen throne, the whole scourge dies. They're they're gone. So you need you need to be wary of that. Okay. Meanwhile, the horde, they're once again pushing in, and now oh uh oh, so the druids got trapped behind. So you can see these these uh, trolls managed to push from uh, this side. And uh, now the druids are stuck in the world tree, they cannot escape. They could try and escape via the portal, but they didn't think about it, so now they're really stuck in the world tree area. The, uh, the allies are gonna be pushing in behind, so the sentinels and the dry knight, but this, this, this support force is scary. Scary stuff. And the druids are almost, almost spent. Good move by Dida on sniping all the siege with this dreadlock. Interesting move. We're gonna have a look here at this uh, crazy battle. So now they change strategies to Warsong is gonna be pushing in the front, and Frostwolf and Zandalar are gonna be holding in the back. This makes more sense, so it's 2v2 and 1v1. So if they're confident that they have more units, they can try and hold this. Let's see how the battle spans out. So, for now they're holding firm and Warsong is making some progress. He destroyed the two protectors here, he's sieging down. Alright, so Cinerus is going to be teleporting away, that's very good, so you're gonna keep him. Let's see, uh, can I follow him? Oops, I pause. Let's see where he teleports. Uh, so they're gonna be giving up the world tree, nothing much they can do here. So he teleported, where is he? He teleported to Scenarion Hold, so that's in the south, a very safe area for them. And here comes the destruction of the World Tree by the Horde. Uh, I don't think this small army of Draenei and uh, Sentinel are going to be able to hold. Uh, meanwhile, in the north, the Dwarves have come in to try and help out uh, the Scourge to hold, but uh, is this going to be enough? Maybe. We have the Dreadlords and the Dwarf on one side, the Scourge on the other, trying to prevent these Elves, uh, Mages and Humans from pushing in. This is gonna be a crucial engagement here, so many things going on. 
so uh, on the on the side here the the, the Quilfalas is gonna be holding this choke point here and it looks like the dwarves and the dreadlords are not enough meanwhile in the front uh, Lordaeron and Dalaran are fighting Scourge uh, 2v1 A very difficult uh, engagement here for the uh, for the Scourge they have a choke point but th this force is so powerful for the North Alliance The dwarves have a couple of barracks, they're building in more, but there's only one worker. Uh, meanwhile here, Felhord and Illidan are gonna be trying to work out, this is a 2v2 now, remember the dwarf left, so uh, maybe they're gonna have a chance. This is a crazy fight here. So finally, Legion has an army coming in, Felguards and Summoners, so here's a flame shield, they're gonna be putting in more damage here uh, the dwarves still their forces is, is pitiful it's uh, 10 riflemen and one hero where's the rest are they back home I cannot see any dwarf army I wonder I wonder let's see uh, 50 food no they have army somewhere but I do not know where so the scourge is pushing out so there there is a sizable pushback here but look at this massive death ball of goodness the scourge is scrapped here and they lost control of their trading post at least this one here uh, this trading post has been captured by the north alliance this one is still unchallenged really this is this is massive stuff uh, the scourge doesn't have much going for them now and they don't have any summon legion and over here, they still control a sizable portion here. They, they they managed to push quite a few control points, the Legion. But these units should be doing something. There's still more destruction to be made. But he's focusing on, on controlling his Red Lords here. So, nothing happening yet. Still, massive push for the throne. We have Garethos and Arthas in the, in the front. Uh, meanwhile, the Felhorn is uh, um, quite expectedly able to finally push the South Lion. So you can see that the, they're finally beating them because Dwarves are here up in Northrend. But again, they are here, but what, like they, they, they don't have they don't have engineers for this spell. They have one hero. They they should be the war effort is not 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 very not very. Uh, useful here uh, by the dwarves. Well, they can need the legion also. At least have all their elites. But the dwarf really, it's, uh, it's quite. They're losing to summons right now. So uh, yeah. Okay. So the war song is seeping in. They're gonna try and uh, help the scourge to fall, but they're getting trapped in these buildings here. Uh, it's gonna cause the the, the north alliance to retreat. Uh, this scary horde army here is very very scary. I see that the Crossbow gave the book to Warsong. They, they, they deemed that the Warsong was the strongest faction to go help out Scourge. They have more siege units, so it's, it's quite a strong uh, holding faction. Alright, so they are going to be pushing back here. Interesting. With the help of Warsong, this is going to be enough to push them back. Very good. Uh, meanwhile, the Frostwolf and the Zandalar are going to be trying to push here. And Draenei are trapped in their Exodar ship. Where is the Sentinel? I cannot see them. Oh, uh, they're somewhere south. Yep, yeah. okay. So Sentinels and Druids have managed to uh, unite in the south. I do not see where the Druids are. Let's try and find them. There's somewhere here. Whatever. It's not it. Not too interesting. What's really interesting is uh, not South Alliance because nothing's happening except uh, they're destroying empty bases. So really, the action is here in Northrend. Now with the Warsong and the Scourge together pushing in, and the Dreadlords, of course. Is this item? Side of a loon. That's a quite quite a strong item left here to rob. Okay. And uh, the dwarves, how's the dwarf farming looking? Uh, 
Uh, I'm not seeing it much. Probably here it is, Muradin and Magni. What happened? Oh, interesting. So uh, these uh, these Legion forces manages to snipe Antonidas. <laughs> Quite a misplay by Koi here. He lost a hero to a bunch of random garbage. Oh, and the dwarf. Interesting. So the dwarf have like a barrack here, and they're they're pushing twelfth loss. I mean, it's just a few riflemen, but maybe they can do some damage. I wonder if they're going to be able to kill those dwarves. Range units are not very good to capture control points because of the the fortified armor. Oh, they're getting it. Okay. They they did lose a few of them, but they got it. This is cleared. Okay. So yeah, the the northern has been mostly cleared. Wow. And here comes the push from the scourge, the legion, the dwarves, and the war song. Quite a quite a varied force here, and these uh, these ships do not have any anti-air, so the uh, the frostworm and the obsidian destroyers are gonna be pushing this. And here comes an extra force to push. Okay. Alright, so this is looking bad for the North Alliance. Look at this Sabine uh, army coming in. Oh, what's this? Oh, he teleported a worker. Very good. So now he can start reinforcing. Excellent work. So Quelthalas is going to be holding up the front. They have a very mobile army, but they need to be careful not to get caught by the slowing effect of the Scourge. Very good blink away by Lord Thomar there to escape. Meanwhile, Lord Ron is going to be cleaning up these uh, these Legion forces that are still alive. Same with Dalaran, but they really should be worrying about this uh, if I was them. Okay. So these are Zandalar uh, ships coming in from uh, from the main island here. Okay. And the uh, the Illidari and the Felhord are going to try and take control of this uh, point. Polteras have like the strongest ship in the game, so they shouldn't be losing them. But uh, maybe he's focusing on something else. Uh, yep. Where are Stormwind and and? Kultiras, that is the question. I do not know. Here. Are they are they here? Yeah, they're here. Okay. Interesting. They're ferrying units. But um Okay, so Capital Palace is gonna be taken down by the Warsaw. Meanwhile, the Frostwolf and Zandalar are still in Kalimdor. They they, they should be they should be uh, they should be destroying these uh night elves. They're still going strong. Uh, it looks like Drainay was eliminated. Uh, we'll keep an eye here, but we'll try and see where Drainay is. Let's see. Uh, here, Drainay still has a quite a sizable army. Remember that Drainay units are stronger in average than normal other factions units, so this is quite a sizable army. Okay. So Scourge pushing in in Anderal. The Warsong has successfully destroyed Capital City, and it's now theirs. Oh boy. Okay, so the Fell Horde has come to the rescue of the North Alliance. Interesting. We have you know quite a quite a battle here. So these dwarves here are not should not be in the front line and here comes Fell Horde, Dalaran, Lordron pushing in against the Scourge and the Warsong and uh, some dwarves. Some dwarves. You can hear them dying, the dwarves. Okay. Meanwhile, the Dalaran is well protected, actually. So I don't think this force of legion is gonna be able to steal the book, which is uh, quite a predicament for them. Here comes the the legion dreadlords. I 
I think this is a really bad fight for the Warzone uh, Scourge Alliance. As you can see, the AoE from McTheridon and uh, here comes Dalaran, Kofalas, the Lord Run on top. Look at this massive destruction, so many dead. There's nothing left. There's nothing left. They lost everything. Oh my god, yeah, they're running. Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> they are running. That was a massive defeat. Meanwhile, the Illidan is like cleaning up the bases here so there's no there's no uh there's no backup really that's all you have and uh i didn't know flying units could attack those that's not intended okay. i will have to take a look at this i will need to take a look at these interesting okay Right, so I'm looking for. Okay, so the first one and the Zandalar are here. They they have big armies and they're fighting remnants. Uh, they should be helping out their allies uh, because their allies are losing. And uh, yeah, and here the Elidari is going to be pushing in the um, the Zandalar homeworld. I wonder if these uh, Myrmidons are enough. We will see. So Zandalar is going to be reinforcing. So small, small skirmishes here, but the big, the big push is coming here. This is this is brutal. And it looks like the dwarves were mostly cleared from this area. These elementals are not going to be taking down the palace. So I guess this control point is going to take. Uh, about 10 years to destroy it. Our allies okay. town needs help. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. I'm looking at stuff. Our All right. Town needs help. Here comes the final push. Where is Warsong, the savior? nowhere to be seen there's no more warsong army they left they left scourge to die i see uh warsong has only one demi hero four men gibbs and a warsong grunt that is all they have left to defend the scourge good luck good luck scourge oh and a mortar here 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 the elves the the, the dwarves are here to help one mortar uh, he tried Oh, okay, here come two heroes, one mortar, one one warrior, and one rifleman. Yeah, yeah, oh. Oh. Yeah. So that is the artist ultimate. Gonna be doing quite a lot of damage there. This is looking bad for Scourge. I think this is uh, the end of Scourge. And druids are coming in to support their allies. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> Warsong teleported in, but now they're in the middle of the area of effect. Oh goodness, that, they teleported with like half an army. That wasn't enough, that was not enough. And you can see the massive uh, powerful abilities from Egwin shielding the whole army and another one might be coming in because they can refresh their, their spells. There you go, that is the other one. Oh boy, this is this is brutal. Nothing is surviving here. Another teleport coming in. Oh no. Their allies are dead. Don't do this. Oh boy. Okay, so the next one to die. Zandalar is going to be trying to hold the line, but there's so many They're all clumped up and this force is like Look at this Blazard coming in. And the Nova from the Druids and the Skull Horde and the, oh boy. All right, hopefully there's no other teleport. This was brutal. Like, if your allies are dead, teleporting in is just, like, brutal. Yeah. So, so, so that is going to be the end of the Frozen Throne. Um, the Draenei are still holding here. So, like... And the sentinels are still here. 
So the Frostwolves are alone here. The Scourge is dead. The Zandalar just lost their army. Warsong just lost their army. So Frostwolf is alone trying to hold this continent. And they might lose it to Draenei and Sentinel. The, they did not win enough. And here, uh, the Stormwind and Legion are killing some stuff. But they, they don't have anything. And the uh, Illidan has successfully wiped most of the territory here the dwarf have a bunch of holdings but almost nothing yep this is this is looking pretty bad for the for the evil team well the, the scourge team and uh yeah the, there's only frostwell here going around but uh there's the the, the elves are avoiding him so there's one force of sentinels going up, there's one force of Draenei here, and Frostwolf the, cannot be everywhere. Wow. Wow, this is uh, this is quite unexpected. So the Warsong is going to be slowly rebuilding. Uh, the Zandalar is going to be slowly rebuilding, but they they have ships outside their home. <laughs> wow, look at this. Look at this armada by uh, Legion. They are holding most control points, I would assume. Yep. Okay. So Legion does have a lot of income, but uh, is that going to be enough? Who knows? They are uh, training units from some stuff. They still control the middle islands, but is that going to be enough? I do not know. Ultiras is still holding their main island also. Uh, is their ship still alive? Their ship is still alive. They're rebuilding. I do not know where the ship is. Let's try and find it. Uh, where is their, there is their ship. So there's the flagship. They can they can build units inside and they can open it like a portal. So I'm not sure where it is going, but we'll try and keep an eye on it. But meanwhile, as you can see, the North Lions are gaining complete control over uh, Gilneas in the north. Illidan coming in. Uh, Lordaeron is going to take back their capital. Is there anything left? The sentinels are taking back the tree. Look at this. This whole area is under Night Elf control. It looks like Night Elf won the duel. And here you have Stormwind helping out the horde. But uh, the Night Elves are, un are united again. And here there's going to be a battle. Maybe. The Warsong, the Stormwind and and Frostwolf are united are but uh, here comes the the final uh, final nail in the coffin Felhorde has now landed in Kalimdor so they're gonna be spamming units and eventually their army oh boy here we go okay I missed it so here comes the dreaded Felhorde, Quelkalas and Dalaran combo fighting against uh, the remnants of the horde I do not know if the horde has enough and look at this. The the sentinels are coming behind, but Stormwind is gonna try and stop them, but ah uh, there's no way. Look at this. These these uh, droids are gonna be nuking this backline if you can. Yeah, this is, this is brutal. They keep getting stunned by space crap. Oh they might they might get caught. Scenarius might die here. We'll see. Run, run, run towards here. Oh, he just went north. That's daring. He, he, ma he made it. He made it. Okay. And uh, the Sentinels are going to be fighting the Dreadlords and Muradin. No, oh, Muradin. The last dwarf. The last dwarf has died. So now the Dreadlords are going to be maybe dying to this. Probably. Yeah, this is, this is looking rough. They're using these Owl Scouts to reveal them. So all the Dreadzords are going to die. Over here the Fell Horde is going to be decimating whatever is left of the Horde. And this is probably going to be GG anytime soon now. Yeah, the, the, the final hero is dying. Yep, and there it is. GG is called. So victory for the, for the North Alliance Fell Horde team. Wow, what a game. What a game. What a game. So... Thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you for the players for playing this magnificent game. That was that was really back and forth. Um, really, the decider thing was the North Alliance. Uh, 
that push into Northrend, that was very, very powerful. And uh, yeah, so the the satellites were winning, but the dwarves leaving to go help Scourge, but they didn't have any army and infrastructure to support them. So in the end, they couldn't really help them. So that made them lose both satellites and they still lost in the north. Yeah, that was a, that was a crazy, crazy game. So I will catch you all later and thank you for watching.